In this video, we're going to take a look at how cells divide, and in particular, at the role of chromosomes. All multicellular eukaryotic organisms, whether they're humans, plants, or walruses, require a continuous supply of new cells, which can be used for growth, development, and repair. This is particularly true for young organisms, who need to grow in size. But it's also true for older organisms, who must constantly replace lost cells. For instance, the skin cells, which continuously fall off our bodies. The process through which these cells are generated is known as the cell cycle, and it can be thought of as the life cycle of the cell, from the time it was made to the time it divides into two new cells. Within this cell cycle, there are three main stages you need to be aware of. Growth, DNA replication and mitosis, and division, also known as cytokinesis. In the first step, the cell grows in size, and at the same time, increases the number of subcellular structures it contains, such as mitochondria and ribosomes. Next, the DNA is duplicated so that the two new cells will each have a full set of DNA. In order to understand the next stage, it's worth taking a closer look at the form that DNA takes within a cell. Usually, when a cell is not dividing and is just going about its normal functions, the DNA is spread out in long strings. However, once the cell starts to prepare for division, its DNA condenses into chromosomes, which are basically coiled up packets of DNA. The DNA of each chromosome contains a large number of genes, and these control the development of different characteristics, such as eye colour. Eukaryotic cells, such as animals, have two copies of each chromosome, which we call a pair. One of these copies is from their mother, and the other copy is from their father. Humans have 23 pairs of chromosomes, so in total, they have 46 chromosomes. Other species, though, have different numbers of chromosomes, and this is one of the reasons that animals of different species can't reproduce to have fertile offspring. As the cell continues to repair for division, it duplicates each of the 46 chromosomes, but the duplicate stays attached to the original chromosome that it was copied from, so that together they form an X shape. Notice that each chromosome is coloured half green. This is to highlight the fact that the right half of each chromosome is a duplicate of the left half that we started with. You might sometimes hear each half referred to as an arm. The result is that the DNA on the right arm of each X-shaped chromosome is the same as the DNA on the left arm of that chromosome. Once the cell is ready to divide, all 46 of the cell's chromosomes line up along the center of the cell. At this point, fibers from either side of the cell attach to their respective half of each chromosome. These are called cell fibers, and they pull the arms of the chromosomes to opposite sides of the cell. We call these two sides poles. As you can see, this breaks the chromosomes in half into two separate arms. This happens to all 46 of the chromosomes, even though we've only demonstrated it with four here. Now that all of the genetic material has been divided among the two sides of the cell, the third and final stage takes place, which is division, or more properly called cytokinesis. For this stage, the cell membrane and cytoplasm pull apart forming two daughter cells. Notice that half of the chromosomes have ended up in the left-hand cell, and the other half in the right-hand one. Therefore, each cell has the same DNA, and the two cells are identical to each other, and to the parent cell we started off with. These resulting daughter cells can then contribute to growth, development, or repair, and undergo the cell cycle all over again. If you haven't heard yet, you can find all of our videos on our website, cognito.org. You'll also find questions, 
flashcards, exam style questions, and past papers. And we track all of your progress so that you always know what to study next. So sign up for free by clicking here or browse our playlist here on YouTube.